Hi there, in this video I want to talk about charging your EV using solar with the Hypervolt EV charger. So the first thing we need to do is actually go into the Hypervolt app. I've got mine locked here, but uh, we're just going to go into the settings and the cog wheel on the top right and go down to solar charging menu. Now in here there's three settings. Uh, you may have it on boost mode, but you want to move it to the top one that I've got it on here, super eco mode, okay? So that basically means that you're, you can charge from solar if you've got a minimum of six amps or 1.4 kilowatts of uh, excess solar power that the house is not using. And how do you know if you've got excess? Well, there's two ways of knowing this really. It all depends on your inverters. Uh, what make you've got and if your inverter app tells you how much excess you're exporting or if you've got a smart meter uh, basically if you look on there it will show you an icon or mine does anyway an icon of a pylon with an arrow on it and that's telling me how much i'm actually exporting at that current time so after you've done that you just need to come out of the settings and then unlock your charger well then head outside and you can see here I've already uh, unraveled the charger cable on the Hypervolt and then I've basically just unlocked the car. This is on the BMW i3 and then I've inserted the uh, connector into the car. I haven't done anything else. I haven't got any settings on the car. I've just got immediate charge on the car. No scheduled charging. Just basically plug and play in the Hypervolt app as well. Uh, and everything should then just start happening. I then normally lock my car afterwards as well. Now I'm in the BMW app. So what, if you've got enough excess uh, energy, you should then see the car starting to charge. Now I started off with about 10 amps as it started quite low, and then it did increase to 12 amps uh, once the solar uh, power had started to increase. And also you may see here on the hypervolt uh, graphs where my power kind of did ramp up uh, during the day also the power then dropped off mainly because the card reached 80 percent charge and you can see here where it sort of reached a peak and then it started to go down as the car required less kind of power as it was finishing off being charged now you may find that the the power fluctuates or that your car may stop charging completely uh, if your house starts to use more power and it doesn't get what it needs to start charging or say clouds come over or it gets dark or something like that outside. Uh, it did happen to me a couple of times my car did stop charging, start charging, but it did start and stop on its own. So you shouldn't need any interaction there. Some people do have some issues. Um, not many, though. Uh, I think some people have said that they're, sometimes their CT clamp is installed incorrectly and it needs to be facing the right way. So please uh, check that if you've got any problems. Um, other things are people may have had scheduled charging on in the Hypervolt app. You want to be kind of on plug and play um, unless obviously you've scheduled it to be charging during the day or when you're charging. Oh, that's probably about it really, to be honest. It should just work. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.